Now, there's been several appeals to the government to cut down its spending, especially in the area of travel, and channel the money into all the critical aspects of the economy. To partly address this, President Muhammad Buhari has issued strict travel guidelines for public officers, which reduces escorts for foreign trips and also mandates all ministries, heads and CEOs of departments and agencies to submit their yearly travel plans for statutory meetings and engagements for clearance before implementation. Political analyst Jide Oju says this is a good step in the right direction. He's also calling on the Judiciary and National Assembly to take a cue from what the President has done. The Judiciary as well as the, uh, the National Assembly also needs to train that on some of their tra tra travels. Even though you go on recess, uh, which is normal, recall that um, every year between July and September, the National Assembly goes on annual recess. There is not mandatory for you to go on uh, foreign travels for your vacation. There are beautiful places in Nigeria, the Obudukatu Ranch, the Tinapa, the Yankari Game Reserve, and several others, where they will have their holidays or vacations. And this also should be a cue by the president. The president, I don't see any reason why he has to go to UK for his vacation. Charity should be from home. In 2020 budget, the presidency voted 3.3 billion for foreign travels. This is on the high side. I think the president needs to trim that at least by 1 billion. Reduce that foreign travel substantially. Many of the international summits, he doesn't have to go there personally. He could send a minister or head of a parastata or department or agency to represent him. He should not, he should cut down on his foreign travel 